Now this story starts with an email. One of you, a subscriber, reached out to us a while ago and said he watches and loves our videos and if we were ever in Koh Samui to let him know. So, we're here and we're about to go and find out how the local amateurs do against two pros. We are at Samui Bamta Club and we're here with Pato, Justin, Karen, A. And we're gonna do some training to start and then we're gonna do some matches. So let's get to it. All right, so one exercise we do a lot of in training is 2v1 defense. Here we're working on our reactions and technique and I'm gonna feed Jenny and Karen exactly the same as I would any professional players. So let's see how he gets on. So let's move on to 4v2. All right, so we're gonna now play 4v2. Four of them, v me and Greg, see if they can smash through us. Just ask them to do anything they can to try and win the point. training you guys hit some great shots there hit some good winners how did you find it well it was really difficult very hard to read your shots then we found that your lifts were amazing like no matter how strong the smashes were your lifts were high and all the way back yeah and you could control the direction of your lift which is a yeah, I think it's hard for us to do. That's what's so important, I think, yeah. that lifting is underestimated. Jenny, how did that compare playing four to last week when we played Zen Way and Final Show? I think there was unfortunately less space when we played <laughs> <laughs> the World Champs Zen Way. Yeah. But it's good training playing against four, I would highly recommend it if yeah. you want to put yourself under as much pressure as possible. All right, so the first match we are playing Karen and Justin, 2 11, and we're going to go all out, no mercy. <laughs> your guys thoughts on our first match we're not used to this level of accuracy and this level of um, yeah. speed i guess yeah there was so not was many amazing. rallies that went past the first four shots for example yeah, yeah. so we were going all out yeah. trying to finish a point as quickly as yeah. possible yeah. i think maybe you guys went easy on us for a couple of rallies that's where we went maybe but four shots yeah. at least we got two points <laughs> yeah <laughs> two points better than your coaches yeah they got one, they only got one. <laughs> Okay, we're now going to play them again, but this time we're not going to hit anything hard. Let's see how they get on. So in our second match then, did you notice anything that we were doing? Uh, you were not smashing. <laughs> we were not smashing. Yes, well Very done. Good. I think you might have noticed more because you were lifting quite a lot. So there was yeah. 
was quite frustrating for us. There was lots of opportunities to smash, but we said we were going to do an experiment and not hit hard, just to hopefully kind of make people out there realize that actually you don't always just win matches by hitting hard. You are li default to lifting. So you need to do other things rather than just lift. You need to play net shots, um, come in earlier and play shots down the mid to try and get your opponents taking the shot below the height of the net. We've just played with each of you. How did you feel playing with us as opposed to playing against us? Much more, much more relaxed. Yeah. And safe. Yeah. We knew somebody could somebody to help us out. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. There's that, and, and I guess just offering you guys some insight. For you, there's always someone that you can hit to that you know is maybe a weaker yeah. player. Yeah. But sometimes that's quite a disadvantage. I think when we sometimes play opponents and we know one of them is weaker, it's quite yeah. hard to. In, in the rally, think, oh, I need to hit to them. It's yeah, yeah, not, yeah. not what you naturally do. Yeah, yeah. I definitely noticed, Karen, a few times on return of serve, you have a favourite going up yeah. the line, yeah, yeah, straight yeah. out to my forehand. Yeah, and we would look for that straight away. As soon as you do that once, I know that if we serve to the same place, your likelihood yeah. is you're going to do it again. Yeah. It's like, we're just on TV now, we'll get a clip of it. Zeng Si Wei playing in the final. It's great to see it on national TV. Yeah. But when we played him last week, I did one shot, got him with it first time, and the next time he was there, he was stood there waiting for it. We go with muscle memory and what we've been doing day in, day out, you know, exactly. so we forget to be creative. Yeah. That's why we, we need to train, and that's why we need to train yeah. juniors, you know, yeah. all these different shots, be able to play every shot in the book. It's yeah. really important. So we're now going to finish up here and go out with Karen and the others for some food. And thank you to Karen for reaching out and inviting us here. The people we've met and the opportunities we've had since starting this YouTube channel continue to blow our mind. Yeah, so thanks to you guys for always watching and supporting us. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Smash the subscribe button. <laughs> and hopefully we'll see you on another video very soon. Bye. Bye. So, so like, like and subscribe channel.